guys, welcome back. Um, if you're just joining me, thanks for coming. And if you stuck around, you know that this is haul number two out of, um, it'll be three hauls, I believe. So, um, I separated the videos because they, I don't want them to get like super long and you're like, oh my gosh, when is she going to stop talking? So I separated the videos for you. And if you're just joining me, this is my, uh, you are love sign. And I just want you to know that you are loved, indeed. Um, God who created you loves you so very much. And even if you don't believe in God or don't have a relationship with Him, I also want you to know that there is someone out there who does love you. And it may seem rough right now if that's you, if you fall into that category. It could seem rough right now, but oh, uh, tomorrow is another day. And another day, and another day, things last only for a season, and, um, you're beautiful, you are lovely, and you are loved. Okay, so I just wanted to have a little something sitting here instead of just the white poster board, and I thought that was a nice message. This is usually the sign you see when you come into my house, and it's just a uh, dollar tree tray that I painted or spray painted with um, chalkboard paint and I wrote you a love on there and this is just a reminder for me as well that I'm loved and um, things may seem really really bad but tomorrow's another day and I am loved and I'm not alone so let's get on to our haul the next haul I'm going to do is the Michaels haul and the Michaels haul is kind of smaller um, than the Dollar Tree haul. I'm sorry. It's kind of smaller than the Dollar Tree haul. The Michael's haul is smaller than the Dollar Tree haul because the reason I went to Michael's that particular day was to take, um, to take the boys to the classes and events to do this. And, um, we made this particular box for, um, the upcoming school year for the teachers. And if you saw my junk journal, video um you'll know and i don't know what order i'm gonna end up uploading this into but you'll know you'll understand more once you see the teacher junk journal video because um we made these boxes and i wanted to give the teacher a gift at the beginning of the year so that they can use it throughout the year as opposed to teacher appreciation week which is um in may at the end of the year so i wanted them to have something that they could use um use now and so it's really funny because my nephew who is a stickler for the rules had to follow this exactly and you'll see what i'm talking about uh later he had to follow the picture exactly meanwhile the boy is uh, kind of a free spirit and you know he had to choose his own colors um and i just kind of tried to rein him in a little bit to remember that this isn't for you so don't go too wild this is for somebody else and we don't know their style or whatever so let's just kind of keep it um a little softer but you're free to do and pick the colors that you like so you'll see that in the teacher's junk journal video if you watch that one so um, again, this is the main reason I went to Michael's, and then I ended up seeing things when you go to Michael's, of course, you end up seeing things, and, um, you buy them. First, I want to start out with this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ribbon, it's called Vintage Blush, Blush, excuse me, it's a rose antique ribbon, and it's by, um, Aria, I think it's the Michael's brand, and it's called Aria, and if you could see that, look how pretty that is. It is like a burlap, but a really rich burlap. I wanted to find something to show you the contrast. Sorry. It's like a really rich burlap here. So I guess it's more of a muslin. And in the middle, it's got like a satin, a satin ribbon. And that's been um, punched or die cut. Isn't that pretty? Oh, if you like burlap lace, go check out the Michael stuff. This is so pretty. Um, they have some new new ones. They have banners, which I couldn't justify um, 
It was nineteen ninety nine for the banner, and it has burlap lace muslin on there, and some ribbon like hanging from it. It's a very pretty, pretty banner, but I just couldn't justify it. Even with a fifty percent off coupon, it starts at nineteen, and then fifty percent off is the um, will be ten dollars, and it's super pretty. And I may go back and get it as a splurge one day or something, but I just couldn't justify it at the time. This one, oh, and it's wired. So this one is was nine ninety nine, and I think I had a fifty percent off coupon or a forty percent off coupon, so that's why I went ahead and got that one. And on their clearance aisle, sorry, I moved that out the way. On their clearance aisle, they had um, this wood paint marker. So that would be. Um, cute for transfers and then this one is 129 so grab that and of course they have stamps so I grab these and this one says I love you and this one says thinking of you and this one says XOXO and the reason I grab these and I'm not sure why they have them, even though it's not Valentine's. Um, the reason I grabbed those was I was thinking, how cute would they be with this? The typewriter. Isn't that cute? So, um, to put thinking of you or something on there. With a little typewriter. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. So, I grabbed those. And I also grabbed these. Can you see those? They're called page flags, or for those of us who know, post it note flags. That's what I always think of the post it note flags. But how pretty. Can you see it? Sorry. It's got a glare. This one is a damask. This one's gold tipped. That one's black tipped and that's all gold. And then I got these page flags. Sorry. Isn't that cute? And I got these. Pretty, 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 pretty um, paper tags. And they're $1.50. I think all of these were $1.50. And that says, someday I will change the world. There's some Chevron in there. Always happy, fun times. I mean, we know it's not always, but it's good to think. And live happy. And it's got the gold. So I guess black and gold is the color for this year. I'm not sure. So I got two of those. And look at that. That one says adventure. I just like that. Someday I will change the world. I wonder what that gold one is. Like. I can't get it to move, but I think it says life is an adventure. And then one of them has love on it. Let's see it. And then I got this, which I thought would make great um, fans to close books. And these are just trim. It's so pretty. It's like a crochet, a rick rack. Um, polka dots, live life's an adventure, and a double trim, I think. I don't know. You have the memo pad to go with it. Because it's kind of a craft color, so I thought, oh, that can go so many things. And look at that. Even that top is just so pretty. And again, I think they were all fifty a dollar fifty, excuse me, fifty cents. I wish. I think they were all a dollar fifty. And I used my forty percent off coupon. I bought things like two or three times. Um no, I lost the receipt. Sorry. Oh well. I used my forty percent off coupon or my thirty percent off coupon. Um I get coupons in my inbox and then I get coupons just in the mail. So 
definitely use my coupons for that. Still spent too much, but I did. And then I went in and I saw this. And this was 80% off. And I'm not particularly fond, fond of the bee. Because I don't fancy myself a queen bee or anything. But it says laugh. So I guess it's appropriate for me. Because I do like to laugh. And here's the front. It says recollections string journal. So I guess it's a faux dory. And um, boho. And it had cream and brown, I think. And I went for the cream. Hang on. I so desperately to find the receipt for this. And I can't. Because like I said, I went to Michael's that day. Just for the purpose of doing that craft. Which you have to buy. Um, you have to buy the box. And then they supplied the accoutrement. So I tried to find. Um, sorry. I just threw that receipt on the floor. Over there. And there it is. Um, so I tried to find the receipt for this to tell you exactly how much I paid, but this was originally $14.99 and it had 80% off. It was on sale for 80% off. It was right when you walked in the door. So I guess they were just trying to get rid of all this stuff and, um, it was for 80% off. So I went ahead and got it. I'm not a big planner person. Because I find that it's kind of hard for me to stick with it. Um, so I just put things in my phone and have my phone remind me. And then I try to use my memory for other things. Hang on guys, I'm going to pick up that piece of paper. Sorry. Okay, sorry. So I'm not a big planner person. Um, because I don't stick with it. I used to, when I, when I was juggling a lot more things, I used to use a planner. But basically it's work, pick up the boy, home. And do the things I have to do around here. I might start doing more planning to kind of kind of keep me on track in my housework and stuff like that. Um, but other than that, I'm not doing planning right now. And um, I am trying to do more things and um, try to make things to sell. So I might start doing the planning. I'm not doing Here's what it looks like on the inside. It says content, one string journal, two inserts, one elastic band. And then, I don't know how many pages they have or anything. I just thought it was super cute. And here's the elastic band. And this has one signature. I don't know how many pages it is. And then the second one has the cross pages. I love so pretty. And that's it. So I could expand it as much as I want to. Um, probably do something to the cover. That's why I didn't buy one before because I was just going to make one so that I could do some vintage imaging on the front of it. Um, plus, at 80% off, I just couldn't cap it off. I, I even got the calculator out and did the math to see how much it would end up being. And I want to add some, some more pattern on here. So that's probably most of what I change. And then with all the um, DIYs out there and tutorials on how to actually make the book. Or the insert. Oh, sorry. It says 56 pages. So, they're 56 pages each. All the tutorials out there, I could easily make more while they're in here. I want to do some mixed media stuff, and then maybe this will be a good place to do that. So, we'll see. Anyway, that's part of the micro haul. Good to you. I'm sorry. I found the receipt for these. These were a dollar fifty. This was a dollar. This I think was a dollar. And all these stamps was a dollar. They weren't a dollar fifty, like I said. Wasn't many things that was dollar fifty. Those um, flags were, yeah, just the flags. So 
They were $1.50. And this I also grabbed at Michael's because it's purple and it's pretty and it says checklist and memo and notes. And <laughs> I got this. Thought it was cute. Blah blah blah. A plus B divided by C. And I'm not sure what I was planning on doing with it, but it's cute. It was a dollar. And then I used my 30% off coupon off of that. So that is it for the Michaels haul. Like I said, it's not a very big haul, but it was a um, pretty good size haul for me. So, anyway, I'll see you guys. I will be back um, momentarily with the Mardell haul. Thanks, guys. Have a blessed day. And just know that you're loved. Bye.